Our world is increasingly digital, but how does factory planning deal with this today? Do you have to be a CAD specialist to plan complex factories digitally? In the video, we give you the answer. We show you what you really need for modern factory planning and how you can become a key player in creating digital factory models. Before we look at how you can become a key player in factory planning, let's first look at a situation that has arisen in many companies in the past. Often the focal point of factory planning was a CAD specialist. This person worked together with other specialist planners. How and why it had come to this constellation you can see in another video. Unfortunately, there is a serious challenge with this constellation and maybe you know this from your own company. All planners are dependent on one person in the factory planning process. They are not capable of acting themselves. If a planner wants to realize a layout project, then he needs the CAD specialist. Both are then tied up in the project. If another planner wants to plan something during this time, he must wait until the CAD specialist is available again. Changes to products and processes usually affect various planners each of whom needs the specialist in this case, but parallel work is not possible. The planners are thus often slowed down. The implementation of good layout ideas is thus postponed or, in the worst case, prevented. As a result, changes are often realized without involving the CAD specialist. He works around the clock, yet the plans are never up to date. Maybe you have already experienced these problems in your company. If so, feel free to write about it in the comments and please subscribe to our channel. So how can factory planning work better? How can the digitization bottleneck be eliminated? One option would be to train all planners to become CAD specialists. In theory, this would be a possibility. Practically, this has never worked. The handling of technical drawings and complex CAD software is a completely separate field of expertise and the number of available rocket scientists is too small for this. A better option is to provide all planners with a much simpler tool, which has been developed specifically for the factory planning process and for which no CAD knowledge or knowledge of technical drawing is required. This means you can act on your own, implementing your ideas quickly and efficiently. In this case, you and each department can be responsible for its own layout section or for its own technical facility, designing it taking into account the relevant value streams and information. This spreads the creation of today's all-important digital factory models over many shoulders and finally makes it possible to keep all layouts up to date. The CAD specialist will still be an important employee, but he is no longer needed for every small layout change. He can focus on special tasks of digitization. So the question from the beginning is easy to answer. You don't have to be a CAD specialist to plan complex factories digitally. Much more important is that you use the right tools and that you actively participate in the creation of digital models, because this is what makes you an indispensable part of your team and makes you and your company successful.